Hi, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop. And today we're going to be looking at ducking in Premiere Pro. Ducking is automatically generated keyframes from one audio type to another. And in this sample, we are going to duck music against dialogue. So when there's no dialogue, like right here, the music will raise. When there is dialogue, the music will lower. So the first thing to do when you are working with ducking is to go to Premiere Pro Preferences Audio. You have minimum time milliseconds. Yours might say 30 or something along those lines. Make it a higher number. Now the reason is because if you don't change that, you're going to have so many keyframes when you create your ducking keyframes. You have to tell Premiere Pro what you're working with so that it knows what audio type is being ducked against what other audio type. So this is dialogue. You can select the whole, all of it or just the audio, it doesn't matter. And just click on the word dialogue. This is in your essential sound panel. Just click on the word. You're not doing anything else at all. Just telling Premiere Pro, hey, that's dialogue. And now you're going to click on the music. And you're just going to click on the word music. So we'll stay on this page. We already see the word ducking here, ready for us to use. I'm gonna check ducking. Before I get into sensitivity, duck amount, or fades, I'm going to say generate keyframes. So this is generated exactly what you would think. When it starts and there's nothing there, it's louder. After Effects is for animating then it and got adding lower. many. Now what are these about? What sensitivity, duck amount, and fade? Let's start with fades. How much of a ramping of your keyframes you're looking at? So is it going to go from low volume to higher volume gradually or less gradually? Now if I say the duck amount, let me increase that. There's less or more. If I say generate keyframes again. Evolving with this industry. So I made it lower that you barely hear it. So again, that maybe in the other direction, let's try that. So this is much more subtle. It barely gets lower. It's more about your personal taste, how far you would like it to lower. Then there's sensitivity. If I'm, I'm having a keyframe happening here, which is a little absurd. But now I'm going to increase the sensitivity a bit more. And that's gone away. Ducking can be a great solution, particularly if you have a lot of dialogue that you need to deliver quickly with music. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson in ducking in Premiere Pro Audio. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.